Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to The Source Code, and my name is Deshaun. I know you probably don't even remember who I am because it's been a while since I've uploaded, um, but a little backstory on that, I've been really, really busy. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know, I just recently moved to New York City. I started a new job. I am full-time now down in uh, Manhattan. I work as an assistant video editor at a production company. Uh, so yeah, anyways, moving on. So we're going to get started in this video. And in this video, we're going to be learning about setting up a balance command. So there's a few things that we need to do before we can really get to that point. And once again, all the code will be available for you guys on GitHub. So if you guys are having some troubles, just go over there, check it out. It'll be there and it'll be there for you to get some help with. So the first things first, we're going to head over to our economy core, right? Because that's basically the hub of everything. And we're going to go into our has accounts here. And we're gonna do something pretty simple here. And we're just gonna go ahead and check our database to see if they have an account. So in the return here, we can actually just go ahead and say plugin and we can go Mongo connect. We wanna go ahead and get player data collection because that's how we had, had it set up. And we wanna find, and we wanna go ahead and find a new document, remember we got org.bison. And we're going to go ahead and look for the identifier UUID and it's going to be our string S there um, because that's going to be our first one. And then if this does not equal null, we can go ahead and return. And I just need to close it off there. There we go. So if this does not return null, or it's going to return whatever this is going to give, whether that be true or false, whether they're in the database or they are out of the database. So now we can go ahead and we can just copy this pretty much all the way through. So we can just go ahead and say return. And we want to go ahead and say offline player dot get unique ID. And let's just go ahead and say to string because that's what we've been using. And so I just wanted to, I just want you guys to remember, uh, we're building this out as if other plugins are going to be using our plugin for their economy. So we wanna make sure that all of these individual has accounts, get balance, they all are working because we don't necessarily know which one uh, they are going to use. Uh, so again, we'll do this. Now, I actually don't remember what these double ones stand for at the moment. So I actually, I'll actually, i actually come back to those. I know I literally just said, make sure we fill them all out. Uh, but I don't remember what those ones um, are actually doing. So we'll, we'll check back on that one. Okay, so we're checking if they have an account. Pretty simple. So now we can actually head back to our create player account. And we can actually just go ahead and say, we can get rid of this and we can say if player, well, if, and we wanna go ahead and say, oops, plugin, economy core has account. And now in this one, we know exactly what we're using. Uh, so we can actually just go ahead and say player and then dot get unique ID and dot to string. So now we actually change our balance command or create account command. So let's just go ahead and build this out really quick and let's test out that, just that. Let's make sure just that works first before we go further into this process to see if our the rest of our command works. Oh, so actually it looks like we have a, no, oh, that's right. I was testing something before this. Okay, so build and we should be able to build now. No problems, yep, let's just close that down. And let's reload, make sure our plugin, okay, our plugin still reloads. So let's join our server and let's just go ahead and say day econ create account, I believe is what it is. Okay, so my account's been created. Okay, so we can see there that it definitely doesn't recognize that we have an account. So we need to fix that. We need to change that if they do not have an account. Let's try that first. So I probably have created a ton of documents inside of our uh, MongoDB uh, collection here and database. 
So while that boots up, we'll just go ahead and, oops, let's just reload the server here. And let's try this again. Okay, so it's telling us that our account already exists. Cool, so now we can move forward and we can create our balance command. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy um, our previous command. And we'll just change this to balance command. I'm not sure why this is pulling so far up. Um, you guys, we don't actually need that on the screen like at all. Okay, so now we have our balance command and we can actually just go right back here to command manager and we can just re-add that back in, import that class and let's change this to balance. This is this command is used to get a player's balance. Cool. So we pretty much should always do the has accounts, right? So if they don't have an account, then we can't do any of the commands because we got to they have to have an account for us to refer to for pretty much all the commands going uh, forward. So now you can make this so when your player joins the server, their account is automatically created. Um, but depending on what kind of server you're using, that may not necessarily be that practical because say, you know, you have a relatively popular server, you know, 500 players join, but not everybody um, goes into the economy side of your, your server. So maybe 200 people are using the economy and the other 200 don't really care about it and they're not using it at all. And so if they don't create an account, then you're kind of saving in terms of people going back and forth to the database and however else you plan on using um, the economy. So for this one, we're gonna go ahead and say, you do not have an account. So now that we have that, let's just go ahead and change this to your balance is, and then we'll just go ahead and say, okay, so now, if they have an account, they most likely are in the player hash map, but we can go ahead and check if we really want to. So we go ahead and say if plugin the player manager hash map that contains key player that get unique ID, and we are actually just going to go ahead and say UUID UUID equals player dot get unique ID. That's gonna save us a little bit of time. Nothing crazy, but it's always good practice to just shorten things up like this instead of writing them over and over again. So if it contains UUID, and does our hash map actually use UUID? Okay, it does. I didn't know if it used a string or UUID. So if it contains UUID, we can go ahead and move forward. And now we can go ahead and say player manager, player manager equals plugin dot player manager hash map dot get UUID. And so now we can start calling our player manager. So now if we go ahead and say player manager dot get balance, and let's just go ahead and throw some money signs. And let's just go ahead and um, check color dot green. Because we want that green dollar sign Okay, so one more thing that we actually have to do is we have to make a way for our plugin to recognize when we don't, when a player already exists, right? So it's telling us that we already exist when we join the server. So if that is the case, we need to go ahead and combat that. Now we could go ahead and do that all inside of here, um, but I think it makes more sense to do it inside of the actual uh, player events class. So inside of here, we need to go ahead and basically start getting our values. So what's everything that we got here? So balance and bank account. So we just need to go ahead and say int balance equals zero or equals uh, plugin dot mongo connect dot git. And let's just go ahead and uh, make a new document here. And we'll just call this player data. Dot find new document UID. And this is just going to be player dot get unique ID. And we want first. Cool. And then we'll go ahead and cast that to a document. 
Then we can go ahead and say player data dot get integer. I think it's integers. I don't really remember. Doubles. Okay, it's doubles. So let's just change this to double. And we'll change this to get double. And now we can go ahead and say balance. And let's just make sure we didn't name anything weird. Okay, bank dash account. Bank dash account. And we'll say that's bank. And now we'll go ahead and basically add our player to the hash map. So plugin dot um, <clears throat> plugin dot player hash map dot put. And we want the player dot get unique ID equals new player manager. And now we can go ahead and say player that get unique ID balance bank. And we just need that to be a string. Cool. So now we can just change this to info loaded. That looks like a, uh, that's a MongoDB error right there. But let's just go ahead and do Dacon balance. And we can see that my balance is zero dollars. And let's just go ahead and join this real quick. And let's take a look at our database here. So we got Dacon, player data. And let's just set my balance to 20 just for purposes of this and balance and my balance is 20. So you can see there that it is updating uh, for our player. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, kind of a little longer, uh, kind of had a few hiccups along the way, probably had all those out so the video will probably be pretty short. Um, it's been a while since I've touched this project so it was a little rough getting back into it. Um, but yeah, so hopefully I'll be able to have a video for you guys um, back up on Tuesday, Thursdays. This series is really almost done. For the most part, it's just going to be a lot of copy, pasting, and filling out the rest of our economy core class here. So not a whole heck of a lot left to do. And yeah, so that's all I got for you guys. And uh, thanks for watching.